Welcome to my puppet adventure. Hey, you guys! Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're outside of Denver, playing around in all the little mountain towns. Yeah. And there's a bunch to see. Anyway, we're currently at Nettleton, nice little mountain town. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you watch every Thursday, we greatly appreciate it. So sit back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the journey. journey. I wanna start up something new. I wanna see things I have never seen before. I'm tired on these city streets. I would go anywhere as long as I'm with you. It's cool about coming to Colorado. They got all these little tiny cute towns. They're kind of older and just uh, have lots of personality. Just like you, lots of personality. Personality. That is rolling in. Yeah, it uh, definitely was open to get you puppy. Oh, it's Boris the pug. You said, wait, mine is full. Yeah, yeah. that's what I want. What you doing, Boris? Do you have food? No. <laughs> no food? <laughs> wind event out in the uh, Salt Lake City area that blew the roller coaster over on top of the carousel and kind of oh. smashed it up. Oh wow. It was no longer in an amusement ride then. The governor of the state of Utah gave the carousel to a state school for handicapped adults and kids oh, okay. called Fairyland Park. So while it was there, and it was there for about 30 years, it was no longer a public amusement ride, it was just there for their use. The governor decided that he was going to sell the carousel, so he did. He sold it to a collector who took all the animals off and had a huge auction. He just used it to sell the animals. That's it. Took them all off, took them all to New York City and sold them. Basically, what you see in that photo there, he took that, turned it into this in 26 years. Wow. wow. So who who actually carved all this? He Scott. did it all. He carved he carved them all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. So is that how it got brought here, or? Yeah. He, he brought it here. He brought it here. Except for the paintings, the paintings were never part of the original machine either. But they were from this era. They okay. were on a carousel from 1910. Scott knew the family, so they donated these paintings. Nice. He had them restored and incorporated into this big round thing on the outside. It's called a rounding board. Oh, okay. A fair amount of work here. Uh, it sure looks like it. Alright, which one are you going on, April? I was just asking you that. Which one are you? I want to be... I'm going to be an ostrich. What are you doing, April? <laughs> Shane, a scarf. Can you tell? For real? Look like you're riding an old fashioned carousel. I sure am. <laughs> on an ostrich. What am I on? I'm on a lamb. A sheep. I would kick your, I would kick your ass. For what? Because how fast an ostrich goes. We would have long distance though. <laughs> you never know what kind of goofy adventure we're going to get in. What? I said you never know what kind of goofy adventure we're going to yep. get in. <laughs> A couple of big kids. Yeah. I wanted to go again. You can't go again. You have to pay more money. Pay two dollars for me to go again, Wayne. <laughs> I want to go again, Wayne. Crazy wolf that's trying to eat me back. <laughs> <laughs> Colorado. 
Colorado. Yep. Which so, is very confusing to me. Right? So anyway, if you're so on I-70 anyway. and you're heading to or from Denver, we're uh, actually heading to Denver from Salt Lake City right now. I'm gonna go hit one of my favorite pizza places in the country. It's called Bojo's. It's in a little town called Idaho Springs. They sell pizza by the pound, and it's different because it's at such high altitude, it actually makes the crust taste different. No words Any of wisdom. Any compliments you want to pay April? Oh, you're so beautiful, April. It's your birthday. I can't even believe that I'm so lucky to be with you. <laughs> Did I sound convincing? Yes. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll pretend. I'll pretend that you did. Show us what we got, April. Pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. It's the mountain crust. Oh, yeah. That looks good. So that's the Italian? Little Italy. Little Italy. Little Italy. And you got the burger and sausage, or the sausage combo. It's basically their supreme. Here we are eating pizza again. I know, always eat pizza. But see, look how thick this crust is. Oh, I'm not even in it. You just want to sit close to me, don't you? That's exactly why I moved closer to you. Mm -hmm. I like the creamy garlic sauce instead of the red sauce. Yeah? Yeah. It's really good. I like the roasted olive oil sauce. I've never had pizza crust with honey before. Um, well, the crust is more like bread. Mm -hmm. It's not like traditional pizza crust. I just like it because it's different. Yeah. Uh, so this was the medium two pound pizza. I remember one of the times I came in here with a bunch of buddies on a ski trip. We ordered like something stupid. It was like a 10 pound pizza or something. What? It was ridiculous. <laughs> we didn't even come close to finishing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What's the altitude here? High. <laughs> well, it's all, all Colorado's high. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> okay. So welcome to our little stick house in the mountains. This would be your room. Great. There's a chair, there's a little bit of space in the closet. Uh, there's a map of the park. We're in the middle of a 19,000 acre state park called Golden Gate Canyon. So we can advise you on trails and places to go to hike. And whatever, some information about the wildlife. <laughs> Most of our guests prefer to use this bathroom and I'll show you why. Oh, okay. Step in. This is why. Oh, wow. This is a Swedish nice. tea room, so. Their youngest son's birthday is today. Yeah. Oh. As is mine. 30. Oh, she, she, she tries birthday. to plug that birthday in there. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that gives us a, an excuse to drink, right? <laughs> so she says she this one. is her birthday month. April's getting a drum lesson from <laughs> our uh, Airbnb host. So, all right, so your right, right, is going to one, two, and then the other hand, three, one, two, and you're going to do the kick drum along with this hand. So do the kick drum with me. I want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank, thank you for, for living life. life.